All right, everyone, welcome back into another props video. Give me touching on the top prop bets for the first four games on Tuesday. Let's go ahead and get into it. So what I mean by that, we got Wagner versus Howard, which is going to be about a three and a half point spread, about a 128 for the over and under. And then we're also going to be talking about Colorado versus Virginia. Also a lower scoring game, also about a three point spread. So both games are going to be close. That is a good thing, but they're probably a little bit lower scoring as well. So I do want to start out with Howard because right now we are not getting any prop bets from other sports books other than underdog and prize picks for Wagner. And I will be touching on them. I just want to start out with uh, Howard first because we are getting prop bets there. So Right away, we're, we're probably not going to get that many edges. I want to I want to call that like um, looking at it from like a EV betting perspective. We're probably not going to get that many edges. Like this is the best one that we currently have. Bryce Harris for under 9.5 rebounds and assists. And if we look at his game log, he is someone that typically is getting that under for the most part lately, but he is also someone that gets heavy minutes. And so for me, just looking at Bryce Harris, I don't think I want to touch any prop bets for Bryce Harris. If anything, with those heavy minutes, I would probably be more inclined to want to bet his overs, especially looking at his like points, rebounds, and assist props on prize picks. Like he is someone that is consistently right there. And so given his heavy minutes, I just don't want to touch that one. Now, one that we are seeing the over for is going to be Seth Towns, or sorry, the under as well is going to be Seth Towns. And we can see the projection data also has a set about 21. It says about a 52% chance for the under to hit. Now, if we look at his game log, he is someone that does get heavy minutes as well. He is scoring a decent amount of buckets for me. If I was like, like here to me is a logical bet for him to get over nine rebounds and assists. Again, we look at his game log, we can see about eight rebounds there, nine, nine rebounds, 11 rebounds. Like he is someone that's consistently getting this over rebounds and assist line. That would probably be the approach that I would want to roll with with him is something like that. And, and that's the thing that I'm noticing about this uh, Howard team is that they are a team that gives heavy minutes to their starters. A lot of them are getting 40 plus minutes or so in these games. Uh, Marcus Dockery here, he's someone that really not productive, not productive at all. So when we're seeing the unders for him, I, I get why those unders are being favored, especially in a lower scoring game. Like that. to me, that just makes sense. And we look at someone like Jordan uh, Harrison here. We are going to see that he is also someone that has been playing heavy minutes. But guys, look at the points that he's been getting. He has been extremely consistent in terms of scoring really besides one game here. And so looking at the lines that we're getting for him, to me, these do scream like too low. I just like points, rebounds, and assists at 16. And I wonder, there's a big gap here, guys. I wonder if that's a cause for why that's occurring with him because we can see based off his game log points rebounds and assists he's had the over in what one two three four five five out of his past six games and those are all games in which he was playing heavier minutes i don't know i think there's something there i do think that there's something there i don't know to me that seems like a good prop like i don't know anything about these teams i'm assuming he got more minutes because of some sort of injury here again i'm not i'm just typically i just go off of the sports books what they're telling us we, we're not getting a lot of sports book data here but to me that's that seems like like a good bet and just just as an fy guys real quick like i am doing this more for fun like the tuesday playing games like march madness is really for us there to be fun if we can get a little bit of exposure to the first four games that's going to make it a little bit more fun like i'm not trying to make this be a profitable approach now if we are getting good prop bets sure good ev bets like let's go for those but we're not so we're just going to have a more fun approach i just want to call that out and so those are all the prop bets that we are getting for howard now for wagner it's going to be a little bit more difficult guys because again we are not getting any sportsbook line coming in so this tool <laughs> we're not gonna be able to use until those lines get in there from vegas and so for me just as an fyi i was looking at the prop line differences that we got really none between prize picks and underdog for howard so one thing i want to call out for them is that they do seem to be pretty banged up i i think that is something that we should pay attention to and i also want to call out this lewis guy is someone that has been playing heavy minutes for the most part or i shouldn't say heavy minutes more minutes recently and i don't i, I would assume that's because of injuries but i would also assume that's why we're not getting any props just yet and so like for howard right now these profits that we are getting like for lewis the reason why he's gotten the over the past few games and the game log is trash here again um but that that's going to be because of the minutes being increased and i'm going to assume that's going to be because of injury so like he's someone we probably don't need to bet let's go with alan here alan is someone that has been very much it seems like hit or miss he has been playing a decent amount of heavy minutes we can see 22 points 22 points 11 but again when we go to his game log it, it is wrong Okay, that's just something that happens with these teams with prize picks. That's just going to happen. They're not going to be as accurate. And so really, he's gotten this over two out of three times. But to me, we are probably either betting his over points or rebounds. Like, I don't think we want to like mess with the points, rebounds, and assists too much. And so for Allen, we're going to see that's at 13.5. Like, he's consistently been getting that over a, a decent amount. And it's dumb that we're only getting this demon prop for him. But I mean, look at his game log here, guys. Seven, five, six, six. So at least recently, 
again, assuming that some of these players that are banged up maybe sit and cause them to still get heavy mints, that could be something there. Again, I don't really know. I tried looking, seems like they are game time decision. Then this Melvin Council Jr. guy is someone that has been getting heavy mints. I mean, we can clearly see that. Maybe not the most productive in those heavy mints, and maybe he is someone that has been affected by those players potentially being injured and we, we can kind of see that here guys like this is the championship game for them wagner um only two players didn't get or only two players else played everyone else is pretty heavy minutes and if we look at their other games it's going to be the exact same case where their bench only went too deep so we are seeing some heavy minutes go to their starters and so to me his, his lines do seem to be a little bit too high but he is the one player that is playing a bunch of minutes as well like we can kind of count on those minutes i'm probably not getting there though with him and then the next one is going to be julian brown who also has been playing pretty heavy minutes thus far this whole season we're going to see his prop line at 16.5 that's one that i don't particularly feel i need to go out of my way to target we can see kind of a poor usage rate for him for the most part i mean how do you play 37 minutes to get one point I mean, that's kind of crazy. i just i don't want to touch that one and so for the first game i do want to show you guys my bet of the day for that game and this is gonna be a prize picks bet and i want to call it this line here again this one seems weird to me and i think we're getting this as a demon prop bet simply because while there's no other sportsbook data out there this could change by the time a lot of you guys get in here but i do think it's worth calling out his rebound prop on underdog is at 5.5 so that seems to be kind of a clear i should i shouldn't say it seems like a clear it, it seems like a potential mistake by prize picks part that 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 we're getting an increased payout for something we shouldn't be getting an increased payout for that should be a standard line so now let's go ahead and jump into that other game again it's going to be colorado state versus virginia a very low scoring game 2.7 is this point spread and 120.5 or so is the average over and under. Now, when we think of Virginia, that's not too much of a shock, I, I would say. Uh, but what's weird is right now, we're not getting any prop bets for Virginia as well. That to me is a little bit strange. I, I'm not really sure why, but we are for Colorado State. Like that's strange. So I'll touch on Virginia again at the end, like I did uh, with the previous game. But looking at Colorado State, we do have some somewhat familiar names. Isaiah Stevens has been favoring the under there the projection data would agree uh joel scott points and assists at 14.5 again the data does agree with the under and with this being a lower scoring game that does make sense to me as well uh and then we're going to see with him it's kind of weird like the points rebounds and assists does favor the over but the the points and assists does not i think that's rooted in the fact that the over rebounds is a decent one as well and so we just look at it guys joel stevens just looking at his game log here he does have a high usage rate has been scoring a decent amount of points sorry joel scott apologies there but given the matchup with virginia i kind of get why the under would probably be favored a little bit more uh especially i mean not points rebounds and assists but the other lines uh just because it's a you know typically a more difficult matchup and now one that i think a lot of people are going to be tempted to bet is going to be this one for clifford they're going to see the five straight games where he's been over green let's just take a, a bigger look at that so first and foremost the average sports line would be slightly fair in the over there okay not much the projection data again it, it just tells me that it doesn't like this game just as an fy that's why the projection data is going to be lower uh but really the best bet that you would have if you were trying to chase an over bet would probably be rebounds but at 7.5 it was like about a 54 percent chance to hit so that's already been bumped up by both the sports books to me this seems like a stay away and really looking at it more all the you know other players that we were getting here all seem to be somewhat stay aways. You know, the projection day is kind of telling us probably bet the unders. So if you guys like some of these under bets, by all means, go for it. I don't know if I'm exactly going to give uh, bets here with this game because I'm just not seeing that many big edges that I would that I want to bet. You know, I typically like to bet the overs. So I do find the lines that we're getting for Reese Beekman to be extremely interesting. Now, he is someone that we can typically count on like fantasy score wise uh, to get his overs. And that's for a few reasons. One, the steals that he gets. He gets a ton of steals, a bunch of blocks as well. Typically not getting that many turnovers. Typically his blocks and steals will outweigh his turnovers. So the points for fantasy scores are are much better but we can see he's been a very good assist maker a very good point maker as well for the most part this whole season has a high usage rate as well and i find it so fascinating that they actually are giving us prop bets for you uh for virginia because underdog is not giving us prop bets the sports books aren't giving us prop bets for this game and so i just find it fascinating that we are getting some and looking at his assist props i i don't get why i mean i know the game total is low but like for him to get over 6.5 assists, that's not like too crazy. We've seen that a bunch from him. Like you do points and it's like all the prop bets that we are getting for him just to me seem to be too low. Even the rebounds and assists, like that would probably be the one I would want to go on on the most is the rebounds and assists. Like he is someone that typically speaking has been crushing that. And so I, I don't know why we're getting lines and I don't know why. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I was gonna, like, they seem very appealing. 
Uh, but maybe that's why, because they're extremely appealing. That's why we're getting the prop bets. But yeah, him rebounds and assists, that just really stands out to me as a good prop bet. So we're going to take a peek at his other teammates as well. He's the one player that I feel like I know the most in terms of like what to expect. Look at Isaac McNeely. Just and just as note, Beekman is someone that has actually, actually popped up a bunch uh, college basketball wise for us from, with the cheat sheet. And most of you guys know this by now. Like the cheat sheet has been extremely successful for us in 2024 in terms of having you know a profitable approach. Uh, looking at it, guys, uh, McNeely decently high usage rate. It looks like. Um, seems to be a little bit too hit or miss for me to really trust, but this is a low points, rebounds and assist line. Like if the Vegas line's wrong for the game total, maybe he does get that over. Ryan Dunn is going to be the only other one that we are getting. And we have seen Ryan Dunn pop up occasionally as well, mostly just Re Reese Beekman. And so Ryan Dunn is someone that has been someone that plays a decent amount of minutes, maybe more so someone you could look at for rebound props. So let's take a peek at that 6.5. I don't know. That seems to be a little bit too tight for me to really like that one. So if you guys we're gonna make a bet for this uh late night game reese beekman for over rebounds and assists i do like that and then isaiah stevens for less than assists that's 53 percent likely to hit that that's okay and so my full slate bet on prize picks again for fun would be this now you can obviously if you guys are someone that plays underdog you're probably not gonna be able to make this bet there or if you do DraftKings, FanDuel, some of these bets may not be there i did just adjust this to more just as an fyi in the first picture i just showed with all four it was less than my apologies i canceled that thankfully and did more but yeah it's fun good luck for the first four hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give a like and subscribe if you guys want access to the tools uh, hopefully we get more prop bets throughout the day tomorrow on tuesday we'll be trying to come out with a wednesday video make sure to give a like and subscribe if you guys want access to the tools head on over to 95 sports.com available for ten dollars a month thanks for watching and as always let's keep cashing